Church, that's what it's going to take. Yeah. It's what this service started out like. Yeah. Praise God to break every mold. Yeah. Yeah. Let God out of the box. The Spirit of God that hovered over this place. Yeah. That's what we've been fasting. That's what we've been praying for. Yeah. Church, don't listen to him. Let's come and have church. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Hallelujah. I can remember back just a few days ago. Hallelujah. That was the song that blessed my heart when I come out of surgery. Hallelujah. It was that amazing grace. Hallelujah. That sweet cold of my spirit. Hallelujah. That one day, that blood that grabbed a hold of this old boy. And that blood washed me and cleansed me. Hallelujah. Praise God for there's power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. There's power to keep you. Hallelujah. There's power when you come in these doors to make you want to throw your hands to the air and thank God for each and every moment of that day. Hallelujah. But we're not promised tomorrow. Hallelujah. Just like that morning when I got up. Hallelujah. I had no pain. Brother John, you know exactly what I'm saying. Sister Renee, you know exactly what I'm saying. When that old ticker begins to act up, hallelujah, it takes care of everything in that body. Hallelujah. Praise God, there's no forewarnings. Hallelujah. You better be right with God. Hallelujah. For if you're right with God, it'll be like it was when I come out of that surgery room. And I come into that room, Brother John, and there's not been any pain since. In this very moment, there's not been any, not been any pain since. But Sister Freedom began to sing that song, Amazing Grace. How sweet that sound. Hallelujah. And it gripped a hold and it touched this old boy's heart. Hallelujah, for I'm not for God where he brought me from. In the things that he had brought me through. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Praise God. Don't really know where to start after this here service like this here. But just trying to put, follow the leadership of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I just want to worship him. And praise Him. Yes. And I and I thought as we started worshiping, I said, "Yes, Lord, this is an answer to prayer." That church, this is if we want to see souls saved. If we want to see souls lifted up, we want to see. The bound set free. We want to see those that say out on drugs delivered and set free. We've got to start having service and open our hearts and our lives to God. Like we start out in this service. Praise God. Glory to God. I just can't get away from that. We've got to let God have his way in our lives. We've got to move when God says move. We've got to quit holding back to it. We've got to let the liberty of the Lord increase in each and every one of our lives. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We can keep sitting right here and keep praying. Lord, fill these pews. But we've got to do our part. Glory to God. We've got to lift our hands and pray. We've got to thank Him. 
all our blessings that he's given us and the opportunity to make it to the next opportunity of being able to come to his house and worship and praise him. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you want to stand with me for the reading of the word, we'll be reading several scriptures, but we're going to start in the word in Second Peter, the first verse. I mean, the first chapter, excuse me. The first chapter starting with the third verse. Praise God. It reads as, according as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Let us pray. Your gracious heavenly Father. God, we thank you, Lord God, for your many blessings that you've given us, Lord God. We thank you for your spirit, the liberty, Lord God, we feel here tonight. God, we ask you just to breathe on us, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Have your way, Lord God. Those that bound in the press tonight. God, those that need an uplifting God and encouragement, Lord. God, I pray that we can spread the word, Lord, of encouragement here tonight. God, the touch, Lord, that, that soul. God, if a soul needs to heal it, Lord God, that you will heal. God, we ask you to touch this servant, Lord God, as he comes before you. Lord God, to speak your word, God. To, God, to bring all things back to remembrance, Lord God, and anoint, Lord, tonight. Anoint this congregation. Anoint the ears to hear and the heart to retain thy precious word. God, we give you the glory and the honor. For it all in the precious lovely name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to speak to you on a title that, if I would title this here, Christian Virtues. Hallelujah. I've never preached this message here before. Hallelujah. But the Lord seemed like it was leading me one way and then it was leading me another way. You ever been on that, brother? Hallelujah. And then I was praying and studying last night and the Lord said, I give it to you here. I give it to you here. And I'm just going to compile it all together. Hallelujah. So, Y'all worship with me and we'll get out of here before midnight. <laughs> Praise God. If we don't, we'll let it make, make be midnight. Hallelujah. But praise God. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Christian virtues. Praise God. It reads on down in the fourth verse. Whereby as given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises. Hallelujah. That by these ye might be partaker of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Hallelujah. Praise God. Say that we might have great, exceedingly great and precious promises. Glory to God. You know, one of the promises in the scriptures that comes to my mind that I always like to hold to Sister Freda is he that's in me is greater than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. It don't matter how big that trouble gets. Brother and sister, tonight you can lean on the everlasting arms of God Amen. and believe on that one that lives in you is greater than all your problems. Greater than all your sorrows. Hallelujah. He will lift you up. Glory to God. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, Lord help us, and to patience godliness, and 
to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brother kindliness, charity. Praise God. Glory to God. You know what the word of God says about charity. Hallelujah. It's the greatest of all. Without charity. Hallelujah. We have nothing. Glory to God. It takes the love of God. The true love of God. To stand before the wiles of the devil. Yes. It takes the power of Almighty God yes. to be able to withstand those powers. Thank you, Lord. But he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto eternal life. That's just the way I feel tonight. I'm, I'm just passing through this here life. I don't have anything here. I don't want any kind of strings holding me here to this world. Oh, when Gable's trumpet sounds, sister, if I want my feet to be able to leave the ground. I want to be able to split those eastern skies. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. I don't want nothing here to hinder me. I don't want no money. I don't want no cars. I don't want no trucks, no pretty houses. I don't want nothing down here to hinder me. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. I'm just passing through here. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Now, I took these here things that the Lord is telling us about virtue, starting off with virtue. Just give it a, a little definition on what I looked up and what I read on and maybe it'll be one that, that touches your heart tonight. Virtue are excellent in general. A superior quality. It's power. It's strength. It's might. Hallelujah. Think back to the woman that had the issue of blood that came they had that disease for 12 years. Yes. But she had the faith. Amen. If I could heard that the master was going to be passing through. Church, if we could have that faith that when we come to this church, that we could but just touch the hem of his garment. Whatever problem it is you're going through. Whatever illness is in your body. Whatever the situation may be, but if I can but just touch the hem of his garment, if I can but just touch the thread of his clothes, I know that I'd be made whole. Hallelujah. And if you know, but you know, but you know, then you know that you would be made whole. Hallelujah. Glory be unto God. I want to read just a little bit of the scripture over in Mark, the fifth chapter. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had had and nothing was better but rather grew worse. Does that sound familiar, church? Praise God. We go to the physicians and God bless them. They're good. But there's so many of them out there that it's just a money game. It's all about money. Just like before I had my knees replaced. I went to one of the doctor's offices around here and they kept putting me off. Three years. They kept putting me off and kept putting me off because I was too young. Couldn't they have knee replacement? But they was enjoying that insurance money every time I came. That's what it was all about. Now, I got fed up with it. I was the one that was hurting every day. It just grinded bone to bone in my knee. My meniscus was gone. So I went up to, got a, an appointment up in Columbus. 
at the Hughes Clinic up there and went up there and the doctor says, I just don't understand why such a facility as this would be telling you. How long have they been doing this? I said, for three years, Doc. For three years they've been telling me. They just want to keep shooting the cortisone shot in there just to kill it. They said, well, we need to set up and get a knee replacement. As soon as he went in, we went into surgery, that that bone grinding quit. I haven't had that pain anymore since then. <clears throat> but when she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched the garment. And she said, if I might but touch the clothes, I shall be made whole. And straight away the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately knowing of himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? Praise God. That virtue, that healing, that strength, that power that was in Jesus, it was gone. And out of the multitude of people, thousands of people that were there, and then they said, well, how can you say, who touched me? But they was one that had the genuine faith, that believed that they, if she could but touch the hem of his garment, she'd be made whole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, as I just read, in the virtue Hallelujah. of the Lord Jesus Hallelujah. left him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He knew out of all these people that faith had reached out and touched him. Yes. Glory to God. Do we have that faith tonight? Yes. Sir? Come on. Glory to God. Do we have that faith? Praise God, as Brother Cliff said, when Sister Renee comes yes. this next week, he's stepping out on faith, right. believing God. Can we believe with him? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. How strong is our faith here tonight? Glory to God. I thought a little earlier the preacher had been preaching. They've been preaching about us turning loose and letting God have his way. Yes. Yes. The virtue of Jesus Hallelujah. was being released here tonight because they was souls being touched. Yes. They was healing in bodies yes. that some of us don't even know that God was touching your yes. body. You're going to know yes. because you're going to get up in those pains and aches that were there was there or not there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I know that's going out to someone but I feel it in my spirit right now. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then we go to knowledge. That's range of information or understanding. What is known Temperance. Glory be unto God. Self constraint in conduct. Lord help us all. Glory be unto God. I'm preaching to me too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Patience. Oh Lord have mercy on me. Glory to God. This calm endurance. Godliness, devoted to God, yes. devout, yes, living a fruitful, yes. obedient yes. Christian life. Amen. Glory to God. Brotherly kindness, like a brother having 
of being kind, charity, love of one's fellow human being, generosity toward the needy. What's the preacher been preaching about? Amen. Glory to God. The highest form of love, signifying the love between God and man that is made manifest in its unselfish love of one's fellow. Glory to God. And then I just want to turn over to Galatians, the fifth chapter. All of you probably know it by heart. Fifth chapter, the twenty second verse. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Glory be unto God. Hallelujah. And now abide of faith, hope, hope, charity. These three, but the greatest of those three are charity. Glory to God. Love does not brag. is not puffed up. Love is patient and kind. Love knows neither envy nor jealousy. Glory to be unto God. 1 John 2 and 16. In all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of this world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. These three cover all the sins. Glory to God. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Hallelujah. One way or the other, one of those three covers every sin that there is out there. Glory be unto God. The lust of the flesh begin back with Eve. The first sin. Glory to God that Eve lusted for the fruit from the one forbidden tree that God said not to eat of. Them. That was the first sin. Glory be unto God. The lust of the eyes, the desire to possess what we see or what those things which have visual appear, appeal. This converting of money, possessions, or other physical things is not from God, but from the world around us. How many of you have ever heard of keeping up with the Joneses? We don't have no Joneses in here, do we? I'm not picking on no, no specific Joneses, but it's a figure of speech. Glory to God. But keeping up with the Joneses, you envy in what they've got. If they get a new house, then you want a new house. If they get a new car, you want their, you want them. what your neighbor's got. Goes back to those three sins. Glory be unto God. Christian virtues. John, St. John 12 and 23. Find it real quick. And Jesus answered him, saying, The hour is come that the Son of, Son of Man should be glorified. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it ab abideth alone. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. Brother Chris, we've got to be just like that grain of wheat. When we come up to this altar, we say that we've put it on the altar. 
How many times we pick it back up and take it right back with us? Glory to God. But if you die, let it die. Praise the Lord. Put it under the blood. Let it be covered by the blood of Jesus. Don't pick it back up. You get out there and it seems like it's falling back on you. Say, devil, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. It's up under the blood of Jesus. And you stand on authority. There is power in the blood of Jesus. I don't know, church, tonight, if you feel by the blood the way I feel, but there's nothing no greater than the blood of my Jesus. It washes away every sin. It heals the body. It picks me up when I'm down. It gives me the faith to keep believing and keep hanging on. And when it seems like I can't hang on, just tie a knot in the rope and hang on. If that rope keeps slipping out, just tie a knot in that rope and keep hanging on. Glory to God. We've got to die out to those things that so easily besets us in life. You know, someone can just be on the job sometimes and just speak to you. And you want to just have an anger spirit. But that's not the fruits of the spirit. Glory to God. Matthew 18 and 2. I like this illustration here, Brother Chris, how he uses a little child. And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. And said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter in the kingdom of heaven. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as a little child humbled himself. That's the hard word right there, Brother Chris, is a humble. To stay humble before God. But to humble himself as a little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And you know, the thought of a little child, a little innocent child, we laugh at them a lot of times because they're so innocent. And they say the, the things that that just amazes us sometimes that they say, but they're, they're saying what's on that little mind because they don't, they don't think of the trouble that it's going to get them into. Not thinking about anything. They're just honest on what they're speaking. It's honest, and that's what God wants from us. Just come before him humbly and be, speak honestly. He said, come before the throne of grace boldly. Hallelujah. Become as a little as a little children. Become without worldly ambitions to be the greatest and without lust for money, power, and fame. As little children are who act among themselves as equals. You know, we've got to When the Lord saved me, I changed Nats and partners. How many of you know what I'm talking about? I don't dance with the devil anymore. Praise God. I don't run with the devil's crowd anymore. If I be persecuted, I be persecuted for Christ's sake. And count it all joy that we persecuted. For, for God's sake that I can hold up that blood stained banner and I can be marked there goes a man of God there goes a man that believes as the pastor was preaching here just this past weekend 
that he may be scorned and may be pushed to the side, but live that life before them. They know. They know who is God. They know who is righteous. And when they get in trouble, who's going to be the first to call? Who's going to be the first they're going to run to and say, pray for me. Pray for my child. I need you to pray because I know that you can pray and you can pray and you can reach heaven. Glory to God. The things that they have said to you and about you in the past means no more to them. They're sorry that they ever said that. But they'll run to you and say, I know he or she lives according to the word of God because I see them each and every day and they're the same in the grocery store. They're the same at church. They're the same at Walmart. They're the same everywhere I see them. They're still the same person and they got that glow and they've got that radiant about them and that's what the testimony as also that we've been preached to here lately, our lives is our testimony. Yes, yes. Praise God. The way that we live, the way that we conduct ourselves, we got more folks looking at us, the church, than what you think that yes. folks in eyes are, are looking. Yes. They're looking when you think they're not looking. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And some folks may say, well, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to go here, or I'm going to say this because there's no church folks here. There's nobody here that knows me. But what about that one that's on down the road that needs someone to pray for them? And then they think about the way that you live here or something you said here. But God sees every moment of every hour of every day. You've not hid nothing from God. On the day of judgment, we're going to give accounts. The Bible says for every idle word. And we're going to confess. Every Hallelujah. tongue Hallelujah. shall confess. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow Hallelujah. before him and that he is king of kings and lord of lords. Church, I want to just reach out to you to the virtue, the power, the strength that the Lord has given you. He said we receive power, Brother Cliff, when the Holy Ghost has come upon us. Hallelujah. Give us power Hallelujah. to go out and touch the sick, to heal the sick, the lame, the brokenhearted. He said in greater things than this, these shall ye do. Glory to God. But we're serving that same God tonight. That same spirit that was blessing everybody in the first part of this service is that same spirit that's still here and that can be here in each and every service. We've just got to turn it loose and let God have his way. We've got to quit holding back. We've got to answer to the Lord and say, yes, Lord, not my will, but thine to be done. Humble yourselves before God. That is the hard thing to do so many times because that flesh wants to keep jumping up so you can pray later. But I think it was as a Sunday school teacher was telling us Sunday morning, I believe it was this past Sunday morning, about praying. You can pray and have a prayer life. You can stay humble before God. But if you don't stay on your knees in prayer or stay before prayer, you can let me hear. It's the little foxes that spoils the vine. Hallelujah. It's the little things that keeps coming in and eating at it. And next thing you know, well, it don't matter anymore. It don't matter anymore. I can I can do this. You don't feel that, that guilt anymore because you did it and did it over and over and over. And 
the power of God will be withdrawn from you. You keep ignoring him. You keep passing him off. He will withdraw his spirit from you. I don't want to withdraw his spirit from me. Glory to God. I, I want to be able to feel his spirit. From the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Each and every service. How about you? Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise God. Just remember. Galatians 5 and 22. The fruits of the Spirit. Glory to God. Let that be your guide. You can have those fruits of the Spirit in your heart. You can bear those fruits. You can have a godly life. You can have virtue about you. You can have that radiant glow about you. You can have that healing power within you. Glory be unto God. Let us all stand. I would ask if anyone is, has got any needs for the church needs to pray with you or you need to come and, come and humble yourself before God that if I have spoke a word that's touched your heart there may be something that's going on in home that no one here at this church knows about and it's not for the church to know about, but God knows about it. He knows your situation. He knows what you're going through. I don't know what you're going through, but it don't matter what, what I know, but it's what God knows. But if anyone is here tonight and needs prayer or special prayer, we ask you to come on forth and let the liberty of God touch and deliver. He will deliver whatever that need is that's in your life. Yes. We give just a moment. I pray that I have spoke a word that, has, that you can take home with you. That we all can live and humble ourselves before the throne of grace. And ask for that grace and that mercy that he, he gives us each and every day. And live that life of that Christian. Walk that Christian walk. Be that godly person. That's what I want in my life. I pray that that's what each and every one of you desire in your life. Is, is to be that person that we spoke about here tonight. Be that, have that Christian virtues about you that you can hold the keys that he puts he puts in our hands through the power of the Holy Ghost yes. that he will touch he can walk with you guide you direct you in every situation there, there's none too small or too great that he, nothing that he cannot handle turn it back to Thank you.